Good morning, everyone. Well, welcome to Monday of week two. First, the composi competition results. We have Brian with five points, Jay with four, Joey with three, Gray with two, and Faith with one. Now, I also had to give five points to someone in the class who wrote so much about each thing that was inside the egg. It was pages and pages, great detail. And that person is Aria, so you get five points as well. Well done. Now, no one got the right answer to what Tiny refers to me as. Now, Bray gets two points because he said, well, nothing because Tiny can't talk. But if you listen to the last video, you would have heard that I think that Tiny calls me Grandma. Okay, this week's competition has just got a little bit harder because Tiny's eaten half the clue. Each day, Tiny's going to have a letter around his neck. You need to write those letters down. Everyone who sends me in the word that the letters make on by Friday will get two points. Okay, Tiny, come here. Sit. Now, you can see that Tiny's got this around his neck. That's part of the first letter, but he just ate half of it. So you have to guess what that letter was. Okay? All right, so that's the first thing. I think I'll just take it off because he's getting annoyed by it. He's going to have to give us one more letter every day. So you have to unscramble the letters to make one word. You cannot send it to me before Friday morning. Okay? And two points for everyone that gets it right. All right, so Monday today, the first thing that you have to do is spelling. And we're thinking about letters that make the long O sound, okay? So it might be, for example, the word bone. We know that the E makes the O say O, all right? In the word flow, O-W makes an O sound. In the word though, O-U-G-H makes an O sound. So you need to explore what other letters make that long O sound. All right. Second lesson today is reading and that's in your targeting homework book. Make sure that you read it out loud, read it again to check and then answer those questions and you can answer those questions and then mark them yourself. Maths this week, we're learning about multiplication. And you'll have to think about arrays. Now, we've done some of these at school before. So, for example, if I had 4 times 3, and I had to draw an array for that, the first number tells me the number of rows I have to have. Okay, so that's the rows. 4 lots of three so each row has three and remember that they have to line up and have the even amount in each row and column and then you know that that makes 12. if i said to draw an array for three times four you would have three rows, three rows of four. See the difference? So it's important that you remember that the first number refers to the number of rows, okay? Grammar, you need to look at your grammar through text type book. And we're thinking about pronouns this week. And pronouns are words instead of a noun. So for example, if I said tiny is here, tiny is the noun, the name of something. If I replace that with a pronoun, it would be 
He is here. He is the pronoun. That word is instead of the noun. So just remember that. After grammar, you have lunchtime. After that, you have sport with Mr. Williams or his aunt. And then you get to read the rest of or watch the rest of the Easter story, which is the most exciting part of the story about where Jesus rises again. And that's how we know that he's alive today. Okay, that's Monday. See you tomorrow.